Good morning, folks. Um, it's me, Da Vinci. Uh, too bad we didn't see fifty dollars uh, silver um, hit. Um, I knew it was gonna get taken down by the powers that be. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm in my car. I forgot to mention that. I'm in my car because uh, well, it's not my car. It's my wife's car because uh, my car's in the shop and I forgot my keys to my workplace this morning. But if you have no fear, I have my iPad here and um, a keyboard, and so I'm working in my car <laughs> until somebody shows up at 9 o'clock. Anyways, um, I didn't want to go home because it was like a long trek home and then come back, and it's like, like by the time I get back, somebody will be here, so uh, no point in doing that. Anyways, um... Uh, so it, as you as you can see, silver has exploded. Everybody wants to know when's the pullback? When's the pullback? When's the pullback? Right. Um, that is the main question um, that everybody wants to know. And um, I can tell you that I don't know for sure. But um, uh, based on the uh, commitment of report, traders' reports, I mean the bullion banks and. The J.P. Morgan and acting like nothing's going on. Like the the reports don't show what's going. The show any short covering. So this rally, these rallies that we're seeing, is not caused by short squeezes per se. If there's any short squeeze going on, it's going on to the to the you know the little guy getting squeezed out, like uh, Don Harrell. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, that's that's the only uh, that's the only person. That I, you know what? I, honestly, I I think about Don Hero. I think, why do you get in front of a freight train trying to pick up quarters, Ray? Right? And then when you teach others to do that and they get hit by the train, you say, "Oh, you should have been wearing padding." Well, how about just getting the people to go get on the train instead of get in front of it? <laughs> just 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 me. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, I'm glad that I've gotten all you people on the on the train and not in front of it. Okay, um, so oops, price going down. Sorry, I'm, I changed the subject again. Let me focus on that price going down. Price price correction actually. Ah. Uh, I think we should see a price correction somewhere around here, somewhere, depending on uh, this week, actually, depending on what this week is, because I don't know if it's option expiry week. If it is, man, somebody's in trouble. And if it was last week, man, somebody's in trouble. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, if if um, if options expiry week is this week, we, we could see uh, a significant pullback you know the the television going. Oh, it's over! It's over! Blah blah blah. Because we this is a psychological game uh, manipulation as well as a price manipulation. Not because uh, everybody thinks it's just a price manipulation. No, because during the nineties and the eighties, uh, silver was hated. I mean, they they never talked about silver, and uh, no one just discuss the issues with silver and it was just not mentioned anywhere um and and that's that's part of the manipulation and and um you know keeping the price down just helps you know support the media um hating on silver so that's 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 the way our world works um anyways um do i see the price coming down do i see a price correction yes Yes, I do. Uh, when do I see it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe this week. If not, um, uh, maybe next month for sure. Um, but we should we should see some some sort of correction. If as uh, Endless Mountain has said, if not through price, through time. So uh, thanks for watching my video, and remember to invest in yourself and um, uh, save in gold and silver.